Backcountry and Beyond, otherwise known around here as the Grill Guy. Uh, as you may already know, every Wednesday we bring you a new grill tip. This week I want to show you how to make a crispy skin baked potato on the Traeger. It's really, really easy to do. You're going to love it. You're not going to want to do a baked potato any other way. Uh, you don't have to wrap it in foil or any of that special stuff. All you really need is some olive oil and some salt and pepper. If you want to put some of your favorite rub on there, that's fine too. I like to do just salt and pepper. If you're going to use a Traeger rub on it, I personally would recommend the veggie rub. I think that would go really well on this. Um, anyway, let's get right to it. So. I've got my Ironwood 885 out there. It's already preheated. I've got it set at 400 degrees. So what I'm gonna do, first of all, make sure and scrub your potato, wash it off, you know, nice and clean. I've got a pretty decent size russet potato here. These are great for making baked potatoes. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna coat it with olive oil. And I mean generously. You want plenty of olive oil on here. So I'm just gonna drizzle some over the top spread it around with my grill brush here again don't be shy with it you want plenty of oil I always use a good quality extra virgin olive oil if you ever buy olive oil and it looks yellow it's not the best quality um, the good stuff is always going to have kind of a greenish color to it. I'd say that looks pretty good. And once you've got a good generous coating of olive oil on there, you're also going to season it pretty generously with your salt and pepper or whichever rub that you chose to use. Now olive oil is going to help for your salt and pepper or your rub or whatever to stick on there really well. Season up both sides. All right. I'd say that's a pretty good coating there. Again. Olive oil, generous coating, salt and pepper, that's it. Grills at 400 degrees. Let's take her on out there. All right, so I've got my grill set at 400 degrees. Right now we're running 399 so I'd say we're pretty much right where we need to be now I'm gonna do something a little bit different with this potato that you may not have ever done before I'm gonna put a probe in it and you might be thinking what why would you probe a potato you just cook it until it's tender well yeah that's true um, I've done a lot of potatoes on the grill and yeah generally I put it on for an hour and then I start to test it to make sure it's tender and I always use my thermopin for that. Uh, so I've done that several times. I've done that enough times to know that a potato is done, a baked potato is tender and done at right about 210 degrees. So instead of having to open the lid after an hour and check it every 10 minutes and keep poking at it with a fork, I'm just gonna set my probe alarm to 210 degrees and then I'm gonna come out here and get my potato off the grill. Simple as that. So, the probe goes in. Let's 
straight on the grill grate. Nothing too fancy. Very easy. Close the lid. Don't forget to plug your probe in, of course. When I do that, the grill is going to automatically ask me if I want to set a probe alarm. Yes, yes I do. I'm going to set this probe alarm to 210 degrees. Go ahead and confirm that. Bam! Now my probe alarm is set. All I got to do is go relax and just wait. When it's done, when it hits 210 degrees, the grill's gonna beep at me. I also have it hooked up to my phone via the Traeger, Traeger Wi-Fi app. Um, so I'm gonna get a notification on my phone. I don't even have to stand here by the grill and watch it. It's that simple. So 210 degrees, we'll come check on it then. All right guys, so I just got my notification for my meat probe alarm. Um, in this case, it's a potato probe. Um, anyway, it's at 210 degrees internal which to me means it should be done. So I'm gonna double check it with my thermal pen. I'm not using this to test temperature. I'm using this to test how tender it is. If this potato is done, then my thermal pen should slide right in there just like hot butter. There shouldn't be any resistance. Now, alternatively, if you don't have a meat probe or you don't feel like bothering with that, you can always do this without one. It's not hard to cook a potato. Um, set the grill to 400 and start checking it after one hour. Just poke it with a fork or a sharp knife. If there's still some resistance there, it's not done. Give it 10 more minutes, come back and check it again. Check it every 10 minutes until it's done. Again, like I said, your fork or your probe should just slide in there like hot butter. There should be no resistance. So let's take a look at this one and see if it's done. Oh yeah. It's done. Absolutely no resistance whatsoever. This is going to be very tender, fluffy. Um, it's also going to be incredibly hot, so be careful handling it. You see, I've got a, a heat protective glove on, so I'm just going to grab it right off the grates and carry it in. Got heat probe out of there. See, look at that. It's falling apart already. Let's take this bad boy inside. So our baked potato is done cooking now. It's time to dress it with whatever you like. Um, you always gotta have butter for a baked potato. I mean, that's basically mandatory. Uh, whatever you like to put on there. I know a lot of you guys like to load them up with sour cream. I'm not really into the sour cream. I like a lot of butter. I like a lot of cheese. Um, a lot of times I'll put some bacon on there too. Uh, I don't have any bacon today, so I'm just going to load mine up with cheese and butter. That's what I like. That's what I'm going to use. I like to uh, make a little cutout here in the top of the potato like this. Just go ahead and cut some of that right out of the top. Make you kind of a little boat, I guess you could say, for your butter and your cheese. So it'll melt down real nice. It's going to be awesome. Woo, that is hot. It's definitely done cooking. It's uh, pretty dang hot. Let's get that out of the way. Butter. Don't skimp on the butter. You got to load this thing up with the butter. Look right in there. Lots of butter. You can never have too much. And of course, cheese. Pile it on, make a mess. Just let that rest for a couple of minutes. Um, it's way too hot for me to try to eat right now, obviously. So I'll just let that sit, 
let my butter and my cheese start to melt and then I'll have one beautiful delicious crispy skin baked potato a wood-fired baked potato it's gonna be awesome can't wait we'll check back here in just a minute all right guys so let this sit here and rest for a few minutes probably been about five minutes as you can see it's looking pretty awesome you know the cheese has started to melt down you can see all that butter in there this is gonna be delicious no need to wrap it in foil or anything fancy like that you just coat it with a generous amount of olive oil salt and pepper throw it straight on the grates 400 degrees and just let it cook and look at that that is one perfect baked potato I don't even need this knife I could just stick the fork in there and just break it right apart it's amazing and you gotta I mean you gotta try this you gotta taste that skin the skin comes out so good like this you know a lot of people don't like to eat the skin you will this way you'll you'll want to savor every last bit of it it's amazing it's perfect and Traeger makes it so easy um, you get that wood fired flavor I mean why make a potato in your oven when you could do it outside on the Traeger instead I mean it's just common sense put it on the Traeger right anyway that's it for this week crispy skin baked potato cooked on the Traeger uh, don't forget Saturday is grill demo day every week this weekend is extra special this weekend is National Traeger Day this Saturday on the 18th. Um, we're going to have lots of food samples coming off the grill. Uh, we'll also be set up at the Cheerwine Festival. Make sure and stop by the store first before you go to the Cheerwine Festival. Have you a sample of some awesome wood fired food. Check out the grills that we have available. Um, check back with us next week. Don't forget, every Wednesday is Grill Tip Wednesday, so we'll have another grill tip for you next week. Keep checking back. Look us up on social media, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. We'll have all the tags at the end of the video. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Hope you have an awesome week. See you later.